Hey guys, Asher coming at you today in Watcher of Realms. Welcome to the video, guys. I am glad to have you all here because today is the day. Better late than never, we're going to talk about Lust. So Lust was the talk of the game for the last month. When is Lust going to come? And how do we feel about her after she came? It's going to be hard to uh, ignore innuendos <laughs> in today's video. Uh, but either way, guys, did you go for Lust? If so, what do you think of her so far? I am not going to show you a guild boss run because I still had my old uh, guild boss team, which I really like. Uh, however, I do need to optimize it and add her to the team. However, you can see that obviously she is, well, she's going to be used in a lot of the top teams in the game. Even shout out to him, my guild here, Basandra, using the number one um, uh, team in my guild, I should say, using her getting the second most damage on the team. If you look at the world rankings as well, uh, she is used quite a bit here. So none of the very top teams, notably, but you're going to see arrogance and lust, arrogance and lust. Well, I guess these are top teams, right? Really strong combo, obviously, with their bond skill, which we will discuss in today's video. So whether you're an early game, mid game, end game player, hopefully you can pick up something from today's video on this spotlight of lust. We're going to go into some action to in Void Rift and in Faction Wars. Uh, uh, faction trials today as well so let's go ahead and take a look at lust i'm going to give you my opinions on the best sets for her as well as stat priorities but first we have to talk about the controversy what right i'm not going to watch the entire thing because we've probably seen it 150 times now there's a lot of people saying there's too much skin for a video game here i don't know maybe i don't know what it is but it doesn't bother me in the slightest but you know in respect to everybody everybody has their own limits or tolerances but i feel like every content creator uh that i've seen has made made a comment about you know do you guys think it's too much is it is it too little is it what it? but i think that it, i think this game is pretty much for adults and hell her name is lust she's got to be lusty and they def definitely delivered in that regard there she is giving the old ld to arrogance what a what a gal what a gal i like her i like her what do people have to say about her so far they are pretty uh they're pretty keen on some lust as well okay guys here we go so what does she do you're probably familiar with her kit let's start with the talent right Every two ultimates activated by faction allies of the Nightmare Council, including this hero, the hero will trigger Sinful Lust. That's 400% damage to a random enemy in range. That's every two ultimates activated by faction allies. She is Nightmare, obviously, and she's a great Nightmare unit, okay? She gets a lot better when she's with other Nightmare units because of this talent. Sinful Lush is also tied to her A1, which we'll talk about right now. Sinful Lush inflicts defense uh, reduction on targets for five seconds. 20% defense reduction is is really really strong however it is tied to the sinful lash not like her basic or her ultimate or something like that so it's predicated again on having a lot of nightmare console uh faction allies on her team so the a1 is definitely good but i remember when i initially read it i was like oh game changer i'm gonna i'm gonna use it right now i'm gonna use and I'm not going to use it uh, because, again, it is a little bit situational. She has attack on the A2. On the A3, upon, upon reaching full ecstasy, stacks gains an additional 20% attack speed. A4 is a defense penetration by 8%. Even everything I read, I'm thinking, I'm thinking naughty things here. Mind out of the gutter, Ash. During the ultimate, basic attack lands six lashes in a row on a five obviously full a five is going to be super strong to the two of you watching who might have that or one maybe i don't know anybody out there let me know in the comments whatever okay so how do we have her built out first of all base stats on lust are not good <laughs> not good she has 4400 base attack no survivability a cost of 20 attack interval is you know standard but not amazing so there's really nothing to get too excited about here she's a block of two however she makes up for it with an absolutely insane kit right that's the good news right punishing pace not too bad in terms of the skill cost i have this uh i have this maxed and then it's some, sometimes it's weird where the uh, where the uh, skills go, right? Anyway, I digress. During the ultimate, deals 40% and each basic attack lands four lashes in a row, lasting for 20 seconds. You can see her there. I guess the first thing we should talk about is her range, right? It is really, really cool, her range. It is like a constant. It's, it's all directions, which is awesome it really fits her kit and her whip and the whole shebang uh beautifully in my opinion 
Her passive is her Flames of Desire, which we just witnessed firsthand on her animation. Obtain Hero Arrogance to unlock the following bonus effect. During the ultimate, deals 20% extra damage. All damage uh, dealt to enemies inflicts burning. Uh, burning 20% 5 seconds. It's it's super strong. If you're lucky enough to have both Lust and Arrogance, well, congratulations. You ought to probably find a way to get them in your guild boss team. They're very, very strong together. It's a great bond uh, skill. On the continuous attack basic, randomly attacks enemies in, two, in range two times, each dealing 90% damage with a 15% chance to attack allies instead. Don't worry when we're attacking allies deals damage equal to 5% of the target's current HP. It's a little it's a little nibble. It's 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 barely anything you don't have to worry about it. Every time sinful lash on her ecstasy is triggered increases attack speed by 30, stacking up to 3 times. And then agonizing delight gains 25% damage increase upon dealing damage to allies with the basic attack, lasting for 4 seconds. If the target ally belongs to the nightmare console, there is a 40% chance to restore 10% rage to the target. That's really cool too. I think it's really neat how she has rage regen built into her fellow nightmare console faction allies quick through the kit because odds are you're probably familiar with it by now uh and i want to get to kind of the build and see her in action right so we have warlord attack percentage and attack speed on the left i think that's the way to go obviously we're looking for attack speed on this champion we're looking for attack we're looking for crit uh damage as well i think the best way to build her personally is with attack percentage attack percentage and crit damage so two attack percentages and one crit damage uh, I've seen some uh, end game players go with triple attack percentage and trying to get that crit damage from the artifact and or substats, but I prefer to go one crit damage and two attack percentages unless you're just like and 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 end game i have ageless wrath increased crit damage crit damage plus one uh, percent after making a critical hit stacking up to 30 times i love ageless wrath however i will say i'm not sure it's the best set for her but I would definitely say it's like top two, three, four, five. <laughs> so, I mean, you can't really go wrong with Aegis Wrath, right? Uh, what other sets will we go with here? I think probably Infernal Roar, right? Might be the best. Just basic attack damage plus 40%. I think that might be the best. Uh, but in no particular order, Infernal Roar, a soulbound arcana, excuse me, that is going to give after ultimate is cast damage increases 10% permanently, stacking up to five times. That might be a 1A, 1B. I mean, all three of these are going to be great. Ageless Wrath. And then I heard that she does really, really well in the Doom. Single target damage plus 18% as well. That's for obviously Guild Boss. Uh, so that would be something to consider as well for Guild Boss. Uh, Night Terror, or let's see, Night Terror increased crit damage. Uh, uh, by 25% for three seconds after making critical hits. Then you consider Night Terror as well. And last but not least, you could go with Insight. You could go with Insight, especially if you're kind of uh, early game or not even early game, early game, mid game, or you're just looking for gear that you're missing the crit rate because that gives a 15% crit rate, but not as much as a damage boost as the other sets that we mentioned. So there's some ideas for you guys. Those are the stats that I would prioritize on Lust. I have almost 15K on the attack. We have uh, attack speed at 262 uh, priorities here is i want to get her fast as fast as i can you know uh you'll see again end game a lot higher than 262 but i do want to make sure i'm paying attention to, to attack speed uh as well as obviously crit rate crit damage and attack so i don't have her uh the event uh special event artifact so i just have flux pendant on her increase crit damage by 12 percent when hp drops below 50 percent and in the increase is doubled so just a little bit of crit damage extra here uh i don't have any to promote though that's kind of a bummer so probably not the you know the number one choice out there but i like i like flux pendant that's the direction that we went in uh what do we have here uh what do we have actually leveled up right now? We'll just stick with this. We'll just stick with this. So that's it, guys. That's her kit. That's how I have her built out. Uh, I really am, uh, you know, pride is not the word. I was going to say, I'm really proud of this build, guys. Uh, not proud, but I like this build. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and go into Void Rift first. I just had her on this random team in this random battle. Hopefully, I remember what I was doing last night. Just hang out down here. All right. So I forgot what the hell I was doing in this. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I was using a tank over here. Void Rift, I'm finally, I'm finally actually spending enough time to progress in Void Rift. I ignored it for so long. No particular reason, not like I didn't like it or anything. I just was like, eh, Void Rift, I don't know. Uh, okay, so how are we going to set things up here? Probably to go Hex right over here. That should be good. Let's see. Do they need a healer over there? Do they need Fursy? 
I did a guide on Fursy yesterday. We're gonna put like a one, two combo, actually make it one, two, three combo over here. A healer, Lust, and Silas, right? We're gonna try to pop off this boss ASAP, right? I'm gonna pop Hex two just to be careful. Uh, over there. You can see he's doing some love taps. We're gonna trigger a uh, lust right now Everything's look look at that. Look at that HP just going down right now Going down. Let's go ahead and heal with a wood elf. Let's get another ultimate. Let's slow it down here I might lose her. I might lose her right now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see keep going keep going Why not? 34% 35% excuse me now 34. Let's get another all in there. Are we getting greedy here? Are we getting greedy? I don't know. We probably are. We probably are. Elwin, go ahead and pop it. Heal him. Keep it going. 11%. Can we kill the boss before it even gets around? I think we can. Here it is. Here it is. Go, 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 go. No, come on. Okay. Okay. Let's get some heals. Oh, look at Brooke here. He's like, dude, I'm dead. Hello. All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Hex, pop him. You know what? Hat suit's like, I got this. Right there. Right there. Oh, man. Okay. Need a new tank. Baron, you're my guy. You're my guy. He okay. He's in. Wood Elf is... Oh, no. I... Okay, right here. Yeah. Baron, we need your alt, buddy. So I don't know if you even saw. Oh, he's dead. Uh, I don't even... I could have just popped for a C2. My bad. Uh, I don't know if you guys even saw the damage that she was putting out, but it was nasty. It was nasty, man. All right, let's go ahead and put Silas like over here. I don't know. Where can we put Lust right now? Not really anywhere, huh? Maybe I should have aimed Silas. Okay, there we go. There we go. He's in range. We're all good. All right, Fursy, give a little pop there. Silas, you go in too, buddy. Everybody, we need everybody right now. Heal, please. Okay, that's some nice damage there. Let's get Lust back on the... Well, we have these corrupted tiles, so it's not going to be great. Oh, oh. Okay, he still has got his armor on, so nothing too crazy. There we go. There we go. There's some damage. All right, Baron, you ready, buddy? Help. Heal. Thank you. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, guys. So, done and done. Let's see what she did for damage. You know, obviously, it's a little circumstantial, right? But you can see the numbers that she was she was dishing out there, right? Uh, let's take a look there. Not bad at all, considering, again, she wasn't uh, steady on the map the entire time. She was basically a boss killer in that uh, in that way. But you get to see her in action in an area that you're probably not used to. You know, I've seen all the guys that I've... The reason I decided not to just build the guild boss team is that all the guys that I've seen on YouTube have been focusing just on, on a guild boss. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump back into uh, faction trials. Why not, right? just seeing her in some other areas how would you guys i'm curious how would you guys rank her you know what do you think of, of lust all right guys here we go in faction trial oh man this is a no I, I like it it's fun but it's also annoying to me this faction trial all right let's go in let's go abomination in baron down here okay pop that shield the lack of the healers is what kills me in this uh Let's put Lust down next. Right over here. She's going to be great help on the south here, right? Uh, we need you, Baron. Okay. Baron's good. Everything's good. Okay. That's all good. We don't even need to use your alt here. Baron, you going to stay alive, buddy? Buddy? Yo, just barely. Okay. Now we're going to do this area. So what do we want to do over here? Uh, we want to do this. And look at her go. Look at Lust go. Just helping everybody out. Just doing her thing. Hat suit. Gonna need that alt pronto. Add a girl. Add a girl. Uh, can we keep Torador's first life alive? Eh, nope. Crapola. All right, let's do Admiral Claw over here to help out in the top. Admiral Claw's great. Great, excuse me. He's great too. Sure, why not? Because he can pull them into him. He's nasty. Look at that. Well, that's that's the claw for you, right? All right. This is a problem over here, huh? Let's slow it down. Try to get inventory here. What are we doing? What are we doing? Baron, what is up, man? Doesn't he have an ability where he heals a little bit after his shield and one of his awakenings? Oh, I forget. Let's see right now. No. Oh, no. I just burned it for no reason. Way to go, Ash. Way to go, dude. All right. Let's do this. We're going to have to just be ready 
to dominate here. Ajax, does he? Yeah, he'll be in range. Let's go ahead and pop Ajax right now so he can help out. Let's pop Lust right now too. So we kill, oh, Baron's already back with a shield. That's great. We're gonna need it here right now. We're gonna have to use Valeria. There's no way he stays alive here. I probably should have waited on one of those ultimates because Baron's like, dude, he's going down right now. All right, here's another unkillable. Can we do some DPS? Can we get them all down? I think we got this. I think we got this. Don't die, nobody die. Okay, oh my God, Admiral Claw, what is up with your health, homie? Oh my God, oh my God. All right, Abomination, you're out. We might need you later. Uh, Admiral Claw, use it before you lose it. Did he use the, the claw? I think he did. Well, what am I, a joke? Let's go with the dragon, right? Let's just wait till these dudes come in range, right? Tordor, pop it, man. I got nothing for you. Ajax, go. Hatsu, go. Valeria, you're down here, so you can't go. Let's put him over here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. Two coming. Oh, oh! Okay, okay, okay. I thought they were coming for Valeria. I'm like, no! <laughs> it's funny how much I forgot about this. Uh... Okay, pop that one. Baron, you're not going to help me at all in this situation, dude. I got, I got nothing over here. Okay, look at her do. Look at her go to work. Oh, oh, come on, Lust. Yes! <laughs> oh my God, dude. That was way harder than it should have been, honestly, but that's the thing. Oh, does so oh yes. Wait, does someone break through? Look at Lust damage, guys. Don't hold my crappy gameplay against Lust. She's a goat, man, in that situation. She's just like that radius, right? And, you know, that damage, and and I, I don't know. I think I'm a big fan of this champion. What do you guys think of Lust? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this haphazard guide. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care, guys.